So um, at the National Sports Centre, and we've been covering the HSBC Youth Games, but obviously one of the most important things to ask you about is the work that's going on over there. Um, you gave us a big show off, you know, everything's coming on, but there was that delay. caveat that was going to be delayed. Yeah. But it's, it, it's getting worse and, and there's no now opening date actually in the calendar, or is there? Well, not at the moment. What we're doing is um, we're working with a contractor. He's got a subcontractor coming in. So, you know, rather than give a date that, uh, when he's trying to work it, once we can fir- uh, firm that up, I think it's, it's far better that once we've got a firm date that they can say, you know, we can open, it's better to go out and say then. Okay, I think it was in the papers that was, was saying it, for schools, obviously, it will be September now. Will it be anything before that? Well, you know, this is what we're trying to say is we, we, we need to find out from the, the subcontractors when they think they might be able to get it complete. And once that's done, I think, you know, the timings is, is very close to the end of term. Frustratingly, if it's what you said last time, you're just waiting for the flumes, aren't you? I mean, most of the other work is done, isn't it? Yes, you know, the, so I was, I was in there earlier on, and you know, you, most of the tiling's done. There's still a bit of tiling to be done, but it, yeah, there's still work to be done on the flumes, and how the changing village has been done as well. How's this going to affect the summer season, the tourists? Is, is that a big use normally? Over it, there? It's one of those, uh, it's a quite interesting that. Um, the usage over the summer doesn't increase much at all so um but you know we will have it open hopefully for for the summer um you know but we, like we said working with the main contractor and subcontractors to try and firm up, firm that data the flumes have arrived i think i see them in the car park right? yeah so that at least they're here they haven't got stuck yeah. in brexit stuff or no 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 it, it, it's some of the steel work i think they need some alteration on it so oh right so there's other work that's come yeah. up so it's not just flumes it's well it's, it's a steel work for the flumes oh, i think right. it is so are you yeah. disappointed that obviously that it's, that it's been held like this? Of course, you know, we, we would have liked to have got the uh, pool open again uh, and we would have uh, hoped that we could have got the children back into their swimming lessons. Um, but it's one of those things that, uh, yeah. you know, as much as you try to plan for, you know, if there's a major contract, you know, it's sort of a, a large sum of money that's been invested in it, that's, you know, one of these unexpected delays that everybody had planned for a certain time. Uh, but, you know, we are where we are. Uh, what I've got here, uh, Ireland Games about to happen in Gibraltar. Have you got any pitching going on behind the scenes that you want to bring the games, the home of the games, shall I say, of course, back to the Isle of Man? If so you'll need some money for that, won't you? For this, thanks. Well, and, and this is one of the things that you know, uh, sort of in Gibraltar, they'll be deciding the next next time that we'll be getting the game. So we'll be lobbying. Are you pitching? Yes, we will. Uh, what we would had, you like? Uh, well, we're looking at either 2025 or 27. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we've said is that you know uh, we've got our facilities ready, so um, you know it's up to them. So we've just got to go and get that pitch over to them. But you know, to the economy of the Isle of Man, it's it's worth a, a quite a bit of money to the economy, and also for our sports people to actually be able to sort of uh, participate in sports on their home soil. Well. And if you get it, you will be going for some budgetary money. I mean, we mentioned the other interview about this place looking a little tired, but I mean, there's new stuff you want, presumably, I'm guessing. No, no, no. Uh, most of the stuff is, is already in place, you know, so it would be a bit of, you know, like you say, maybe doing up the, the, the stand here, there'd be a few bits and pieces, but uh, I can't uh, foresee any major infrastructure that we need to get done uh, for the games. Are you confident we're going to get the games? I mean, not many people pitch that so much these days, do they? So there's less bidders around. Um, yes, I, I'm confident we should we should have it sort of round about the periods that I was saying. Which do you like? Any preference? Um, either of those, whichever's fine. 2025 would be, be great, but if it's 2027, then uh, we'll go for that. And what we've said to the um, Island Games Association is that you know uh, they, they were looking for other jurisdiction for, for 25, but they weren't too sure about that. And we said we're not going to take it off anybody. But if they're unable to do it, and that's we'll what's happening, isn't it? I mean, people have dropped out over the years. Yeah. It's, it was a kind of big long waiting list, and yeah. then suddenly with the climate changing, I suppose yeah. people pulled out. And what, well, and and, and the, uh, some of the places having to build that infrastructure and struggling yeah. to get that infrastructure in. Since we've got a lot of the infrastructure in there, we said if some. Does drop out, you know, we'd be happy to sort of uh, fill in that spot.